Hello there YouTube and Visual Basic Fanatics. Um, I've received a request from one of my um, subscribers on how to save settings. And um, it's a valid question. I have um, spent many, many hours when I started programming to try and figure out how to save my settings. And um, if I can help someone on doing it, then obviously I will. So, um, first of all, I would like to say that there are a couple of videos on YouTube which actually shows how to save your settings. But some of them don't actually cover most of the basics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a basic save settings and um, just give it a little bit, of, little bit more of an explanation on how to use it. Okay, so what I've done is I have created an, a form. There's no code at it, at the back of it. Okay, and I've got a, a name. I've got a checkbox. I've named it active. I have a save button, a load button, and a reset button. Okay, you can obviously put your load code in your form startup event if you want your uh, settings to load whenever you open a certain form or whatever you would like. But I'm just going to um, point out how these work quickly. So the first thing we need to do to actually be able to save settings would be to go to our properties, go to save settings properties, and we have a settings tab. In our tab here we actually have a couple of columns. This is my setting name, the setting type, the scope and the value okay so um, first of all we need to give a setting a name so um, on my form I let's say for instance I have an administrator I want to get his name and if he's an active administrator so um, the first thing I'm going to go do is to make it easier to find is put an underscore and I'm going to go name okay which is a string value because his name would be in a string the scope is a user you have two different scopes, you have application and user. If you have a user scope, the user can change the settings. If you have an application scope, you will not be able to change the settings or your user will not be able to change the settings while the program is active, okay? And only the application can change that setting there. We're going to leave it as user and the value, leave it as blank, okay? The next one is our checkbox. The checkbox is obviously a boolean and it is active, so I'm going to put underscore is active. Okay. And as I click on the drop down, you can now see that all of our data types are here. For instance, the boolean, the byte, the character, date, decimal, time, integers, longs, shorts, string. You have um, U longs and U shorts. Or even if you have a web service from a URL, you can actually have a web service that you can import and refer to that web service via your settings. Okay, but now is active as a boolean, so I'm going to click on boolean. User scope is also um, user. Okay, and as you can see, after I've clicked there, it changes the default value to false. Okay, the reason being is that every boolean or every data type has a default value and the default value for a boolean is false the default value for a string is empty okay so it will always have a default value it doesn't mean that you can't change the values it just means that if you're going to reset your values it will jump straight back to the, re the default values if I want my default value to be true all I need to do is select it to true okay but I actually just want to leave it on false come on false there we go all right so I have two properties for my two settings that I have um, and everything is set up so let's go and write a bit of code okay in my save button we want to be able to save so I'll go and with a with statement because it's easier to do it with a with statement is with my dot settings okay and if I press the button and underscore you can now see that my two settings are there is active and name okay I'm gonna start with the name and the name equals to me dot text box one dot text dot underscore is active equals me dot checkbox one dot checked okay so why did I put it as checked and not write a whole if statement? Well, it's quite simple. Our boolean here is um, our setting here is a boolean, and 
the check property if I can just point it out quickly the check property is already a boolean true and false so all I'm saying is um, in our settings so active is this boolean true or false equals to either true or false which is the check boolean okay so it's quite simple and now we need to save our settings so we go my dot settings dot save and it will actually save your settings it's very very simple okay um, just to give us an indication that it saved the settings I'm gonna go um, me dot text box one dot text equals the string dot empty and clear the checkbox me dot checkbox one uh, dot checked equals false okay so now we've cleared the settings but we would still not know if the settings have been saved until we load them so in my load button I'm gonna type also with the with statement with my dot settings okay I'm gonna refer to the control first me dot text box one dot text equals my settings dot underscore name okay and me dot checkbox one dot checked equals dot underscore is active okay and it's as simple as that I'm gonna give it a quick run and I'm going to write my name and is active I'm gonna save that and you can see that it clears it I'm gonna load it again and there we go okay if I change it to France D save load you can see it saves and loads it even if I close my application and I open it again and I load it you can see that my settings that was saved comes back okay so reset resetting settings well um, the default values that I've indicated earlier on are empty string and false so if we should go to our button 3 which is reset we'll just go to my dot settings dot reset okay and that'll actually just reset all the default values of your settings and therefore make it easier if an application is changed between users um, there's one line of code to reset all of your settings but that is it there there's not much to it the um, basic things that I want to point out was um, your data types second thing was um, that on your settings you have a couple of other things that you could do with them as well for example you can view the items of the settings you can view the properties of the setting item that you have which is a collection of setting uh, the properties of the wrapper okay and also you can um, <coughs> excuse me um, you can upgrade a setting which is um, to reflect more recent installations of the application which means if you have for instance a setting and you upgrade your application and you have more settings then you can always just check before you um, rewrite all of your settings if you can upgrade it to the newer version of your application okay it's very very easy simple to do but um, that is the basics of it I um, so I'll speak to you guys later. If you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe to my channel. Um, any comments are all welcome. And I hope this helps. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.